What's up guys, it's me Hunter Ivy, and it's time to review this product that I have right here. It's called the Miss Forum UM700. So this is a PC I got for me uh, on Christmas. Yeah, I, I, got, uh, I got this for Christmas. My parents gave it to me. So anyway, um, this is my new, P my new gaming PC. And um, I gotta say, the design of it looks pretty cool. And after actually, you know, you know, working with it and everything, I gotta say, this has gotta be one of the best game PCs I've ever used. Now, um, I never owned that many game PCs, to be honest. I mostly own consoles and stores, and of course, and most of the computers I've owned so far are not really that powerful when it comes to high-end gaming and stuff. Now, I'm much of a, not much of a high-end gamer. I'm more of a gamer that tries to work with something that actually, you know, actually works for gaming and see if, see how it does and everything. So, I'm one of those guys that tries to see how, uh, one of those guys see how, this, how these devices do pretty well, even though without the use of graphics cards and all that kind of stuff and see how they do on their own. So yeah, I'm not really into like into high, very high end gaming. Yeah. So, so let's get onto the uh, Miss Forum PC, and uh, I'm going to film film the inside with my secondary camera. So I'm going to turn this camera off and get onto uh, show you what's the inside of this uh, PC. So, so let's get let's get it going. Okay, so this is the PC itself right here. It's got uh, two USB cords in front. And it's got a uh, USB-C as well for our charging and stuff. It's also got a uh, headphone jack and a, pow and a power button right there. And also a microphone right there, which is, which is right there as a microphone. And also on the back, we have uh, two USBs and a HDMI, a, dis a, HDMI and a display, an Ethernet, and a power and a power input as well. On the uh, side, we have uh, not on these sides. We have nothing. You have nothing right there except for a uh, fan or fan is and stuff. On the inside, we have the fan. You have vent ventilation right there. You have ventilation right there as well. So we got some good ventilation overall. And it's kind of warm right now because I because I just just turned it off. So and let's let's do the inside. So to open it, you go like this. This is actually going to be, let me, uh, there we go. Okay, so here's what the inside looks like. So there's the RAM right there. So the RAM is right there. And of course the SSD, SSD drive right there. And yes, it did, it came, it did came with a SATA cable. Uh, it's in the box right now, so yeah. And of course, I do have an external hard drive for it, so I got more storage. And of course, uh, right here, I just noticed that you can put a hard drive or an SSD drive onto this thing right here, so you can attach it, so you can attach the uh, external SSD drive and attach it to here, or basically a hard drive, basically a hard disk drive right here too as well for extra storage. But I got me an external hard drive, so I don't need that stuff. So let's. Put that back on. So if I do want to upgrade it, I can just take this easily off and and then get that RAM off there. But I gotta be very careful and make sure I know what I'm doing. That kind of stuff. So yeah, make sure. Yes. So this is what the inside looks. What the inside looks like it's it's a pretty cool PC so far. It uses an AMD Ryzen 7 uh, 3750 processor, uh, H processor, and it's really really cool and. On gaming, I've I've done I've done some pretty good, pretty good features and stuff, and it's got some pretty good features. It's pretty nice with gaming and stuff, and I will do some uh, benchmarks uh, of it soon and instant footage and show you what the gaming footage is like when I get a chance to. But anyway, I just want to give you a quick review of this PC so far. The PC, this PC is really good, and I have to give yeah, give some effort and credit to um, Miss Forum. They did a pretty good job. I'm making a really fun PC. I barely had any crashes or anything like that. 
Although I did have one crash, which is from Grand Theft Auto V, but it seemed to work very well through the entire game. I also played a Blu uh, Elder Scrolls for Oblivion in 4K on this thing. I even played uh, S Skyrim on here as well, and it's playing very well. I played the Skyrim Anniversary Edition on here, and it's been playing very well in the end. Yeah. And stuff. And so far, I actually like this uh, mess forum, and I will actually do some more stuff for this uh, video. I'll show you some bitch marks and show you some um, gaming videos and stuff. Right now, I'm just gonna give you a quick review of what this PC is like and tell you why I think of this thing. This so far is pretty cool. It's, it's pretty cool, and it's and it's actually it's actually really great indeed. And you guys. I'm gonna give this PC a um, probably a, a four out of five. It's definitely a great PC indeed. And next thing I'll do, I'll do some I'll do some benchmarks and probably do some gaming videos and show you what else goes on. You guys, Hunter, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.